And now, the general weather around Alaska. Up uh, first here for uh, today's show, we've got <clears throat> hazardous weather graphic here showing a winter storm warning out here for the Seward Peninsula, Eastern Norton Sound, up into the Kobuk Valley, back out toward the northwest coast, and extending up from Point Hope to Point Lay. That's out for tonight until 9 a.m. on Wednesday for another six inches of snow to fall in this area with winds possibly gusting to 50 miles an hour, creating some blowing, definitely drifting snow in those areas. And here to the east in the central interior, including the Tanana Valley and the greater Fairbanks area there from, uh, say, <clears throat> Isleson Air Force Base back to the west and down to the southwest here, but uh, staying out of the Cuscombe Valley. And that's out for uh, tomorrow, actually later tonight and until 9 a.m. Thursday morning, looking for 7 to 14 inches of snow to fall in this area. Up to the north, a blizzard warning out for Wednesday and Wednesday night for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast for winds gusting maybe to 50 miles an hour there with uh, visibilities and blowing snow being reduced to about a uh, quarter mile or, or so. And then to the west there, wind weather advisory for the central Beaufort Sea coast, Prudhoe Bay down toward Anatovic Pass. And uh, <clears throat> that's for winds gusting to 35 miles an hour with visibilities down to a half mile in blowing snow there. Could see uh, several inches of new snow falling in those areas as well. Off to the east here, you go down toward Northway, 40 mile country down into the Copper River Basin. Still that cold weather advisory out there for tonight. And that extends down into the northern panhandle, actually a cold weather warning there for tonight from Juneau up the Klondike Highway towards Skagway and Haines, those areas, and then cold weather advisories for the remainder of the southeast coast all the way down to Dixon entrance. Satellite imagery today showing some uh, moisture staying south of the panhandle there. Uh, generally dry conditions here, very cold temperatures continue over the northwest territories into the east central interior today with temperatures well below zero, in some cases staying in the minus 50s below zero through the afternoon, anywhere from actually over the uh, Yukon there. And uh, to the west, we've got moisture streaming in, a system back through here in the front right, something like that, and then coming back like this with a little bit of a warm front aloft uh, here coming in toward the uh, uh, Fairbanks area there. That bringing areas of snow here, uh, a couple inches falling, uh, a couple more inches falling in Nome before it tapered off this afternoon. Some light snow all the way up to the western north slope, western central Arctic coast. And then staying dry down here to the south with mostly clear skies across southern Alaska here, down to Kodiak Island, North Gulf Coast areas, as well as the Copper River Basin back to the west. See this system here trying to push northeastward there, still back to the west there, the main system itself but moisture coming up and sliding eastward into the Alaska Peninsula as this one pushes eastward here. But the front really dissipating back through this area, you can see it kind of uh, shredding out a little bit, breaking up with some uh, breaks there. And uh, to the southeast here over the panhandle, it'll stay dry and cold tonight here with strong high pressure over the Yukon, gusty northeast winds through the channeled areas here, especially in the northern portions with Again, the cold weather advisories all the way down uh, to Dixon entrance there. Good shot of snow coming into the interior here with this front pushing into the central part of the state tore along the uh, Yukon River there. Lighter amounts back to the southwest here with the heavier amounts up here in the central interior and then throw some wind in with that heavier snow up for the Brooks Range out to the Arctic coast there and then some rain here for the western Aleutians, a big area of moisture out there with that next system southwest of the uh, Aleutians. And that system pushes eastward here, staying south of the Aleutian chain, but that'll continue to circulate uh, warmer air and rain up to Adak and Atka, extending westward there. This front weakens considerably by tomorrow afternoon, so areas of light snow begin to uh, subside a little bit over the central and eastern interior with some light snow extending along that trough axis out to the southwest coast. And then drier conditions following in behind up to the north, another trough as this system tracks eastward there off the Arctic coast. That's gonna bring the uh, strong west winds there to the eastern Beaufort Sea coastline. Snow and blowing snow for the entire eastern stretch of the coast tomorrow. 
stays dry here. Look for the clouds increase tomorrow over south central Alaska, but should stay mostly clear. Kodiak Island up into the Copper River Basin. No change for the southeast coast. And moving ahead to Thursday, a weak low now develops off the panhandle there. That could bring some light snow to portions of the central and north coast there. Otherwise, uh, more clouds, though, for the remainder of the area there. And then dry, cold weather comes back or comes back again with that system gone, pushing off into Canada now. So temperatures back below zero. They may rise above zero on uh, Wednesday tomorrow here over the central interior, then staying below zero again all day with the Arctic high building back in. Still some flurries or light snow showers to the western central Arctic coast and through the Bering Strait to St. Lawrence Island. This system bringing warmer air up into the southern and southeast Bering Sea. So periods of rain, gusty winds into the Alaska Peninsula, eastern Aleutians. Maybe some mixed precipitation, possibly reaching Cape Newenham late in the afternoon. And then for the day on Friday, that system over the panhandle shifts off to the southeast there, replaced by mostly clear skies once again. And cold temperatures continue, not quite as cold, and the wind's not quite as strong there, but high pressure holding over the Yukon. This system sliding northeastward here, pulling moisture back from the west and, uh, or from the east and southeast, spreads an increasing chance of snow from Bristol Bay in the Alaska Peninsula, right up across the Kenai Peninsula into Prince William Sound and uh, the North Gulf Coast. So it looks like a pretty good shot of snow starting Friday here for uh, the North Gulf Coast and the Kenai Peninsula area, Kodiak Island as well. And again, in toward Bristol Bay, dry through the central northern interior, some flurries or light snow showers to the eastern Arctic coast there in the Eastern Brooks Range around Arctic Village or so, but mostly clear. Back below, or staying below zero for the Yukon Flats areas all the way down to the southwest coast. These northeast winds on the increase here for the southwest coast, right across the Bering Sea, pulling cold air southward once again here with the uh, other high pressure area developing over the Russian Far East. For, the, for tonight, lows again anywhere from uh, 30 to 55 below over the eastern interior, mid minus 20s for the central part of the state warming into the mid to upper 20s for the southwest coast and above freezing in the 30s for the Aleutians in Alaska Peninsula, about 28 for Kodiak, zero to five below for the northern panhandle into the teens down to the south. Highs for tomorrow, upper 20s southern southeast coast, 10 to 15 in the north and highs uh, south central Alaska anywhere from five to 15 up or mid lower 20s down toward uh, Homer should rise above freezing for Kodiak Island, mid 30s for the Alaska Peninsula, 25 to 35 here for the southwest part of the state, and pushing above zero, at least a short distance above zero for the central interior, Tanah Valley toward Fairbanks, staying below zero, but not quite as far below for the Yukon Flats up to the Eastern Brooks Range, mostly Arctic coast and North Slope, anywhere from five to 15 degrees. Then as that higher pressure builds in uh, for Thursday morning, Temperatures will fall back uh, below zero here across the area, but not uh, still warmer than what it's been the last few days. But looking at temperatures, lows 20 to 35 below for the eastern interior, 5 to 15 below out toward the Seward Peninsula, and anywhere from 5 below to 5 above south central Alaska, 5 to 10 for the lows, northern panhandle, upper teens down to the south, highs, lower 30s there for Prince of Wales Island, otherwise 10 to 15 in the northern southeast coast about 10 below for the Copper River Basin, and staying below zero again here for Thursday afternoon in the central interior areas with uh, lower to mid-teens now for the southwest coast, lower 40s for just about all of the Aleutians.